showing you how to make some mini palette coasters. They are super easy to make. You might have seen them on Pinterest, um, they're all over the internet. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make them. So if you want to make them exactly as I have, here is a list of the things you'll need. But let's get going. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your pack of lollipop sticks. You want a fairly decent sized pack. You want to open them up and grab a pair of quite sharp scissors. And you just want to chop just the curved bit off the top of each one. You can measure your sticks to make sure you cut them exactly the same length, but if you literally just cut off the curved bit, you should be able to roughly eyeball it. So once you've got enough sticks to make a palette, I would say you'd want roughly around 20 to make each one. Um, you just want to grab some glue. You've probably seen me use this glue a lot. There'll be a link to it on the screen. Um, and you just want to stick them, as you can see I'm doing here. So you lie two down flat, and then on the other two sides you stick to standing up. It's a bit tricky to explain but just watch and you can see how I'm doing it. The only problem with this glue is it doesn't dry immediately so you will have to hold it in place for a while and then be careful with it but I just left mine to dry for a little while. I put an extra beam across the middle because that's what a large palette would look like. Okay so I'm going to refer to the bit that we've just finished making as the frame and next we're going to put a dot of glue onto each end of the lollipop sticks and stick them evenly along the frame as you can see I'm doing here leave little gaps between the sticks it will make it look more like a real palette. The gaps I left in this one weren't really big enough so I left bigger gaps on the next one I made. So once I had finished the top I let it dry and turn it over and then I put more sticks along the bottom and lined them up with the sticks that were on the top. Now once I had finished that step it did look really good and it did look like it could have been finished but I wanted to do a little bit of experimenting with some paint options. So I put a little bit of paint into the bottom of five different pots, five different colours and it is only a tiny drop of paint and then I watered it down and mixed it up with loads of water. I do it like this because then when you paint it onto the wood it still gets the colour but you can still see the wood effect so it just looks a little bit more real almost. The first one I did I used all the colours and just did one stick in each colour in a pattern and I thought it looked really cool, it looked quite quirky and you can layer the paint up to make it lighter or darker. The next one I did I went for a stained wood effect so I just did the same principle of mixing brown paint into the water and painting it onto my palette and layering it up a few times and then the other side of the colourful one I did I did a kind of pink pattern where I've just painted them all pink but obviously some of them I've layered up and did a few coats so that's made some of them lighter and darker and I actually think that's my favourite one I'm really happy with how it turned out. And here it is finished. So here they are, I'm so happy with how they turned out. I tried a few different things, like I said I tried a multi-coloured one which I do think looks really cute. This is probably my favourite, it's pink but obviously the pink's kind of all different variations of pink, dark pink, light pink and I just did that by um, different amounts of layers of colour on top of them so that was super easy to do and I did just put brown around the edge but you can put whatever colour you want around the edge. And then the other one also I think looks a bit more like a palette. These ones are a little bit closer together, this one's a little bit more spread out. I wasn't sure which I'd like more, I think I prefer this one in that way. And this one is just brown. I did think it might be cool to maybe try staining it with tea or coffee. Um, if you want me to do another video and try doing that, let me know and I'm happy to have a go. But I think these look so cute and I'm so happy of how easy they were to do. If you made a set, they'd be a really cute gift idea. But yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely day. Be safe, be happy, be ambitious and I will see you later.